Dr. Frank McGeorge and talk more about this a new allergic reaction, which has been obviously a severe one, Doc. Yeah, Devin. So reports from the Alaska Department of Health are that a healthcare worker in Juneau who was given the COVID-19 vaccine developed flushing and shortness of breath 10 minutes after receiving the shot during that recommended 15 minute observation period. Now, the worker had no history of allergic reactions in the past. They took Benadryl after the symptoms began, and when they didn't resolve, the worker was admitted to the emergency department at the hospital where they received Pepsid, which blocks a different part of the allergic mechanism, Benadryl, and epinephrine through an IV drip. Now, reports are that the individual has recovered but is still being monitored in the ICU. It's going to be a worrisome thing for a lot of people here, so try to put this in context for us as we learn about these vaccines. Well, you know, Devin, this is the first report of a significant allergic reaction in the U.S. And while this is not necessarily unexpected, given the severe allergic reactions that were identified in the U.K., and of course, allergic reactions can occur with any medication, this incident will require additional investigation. And it really highlights the importance of the precautions against an allergic reaction that have already been put in place. Yeah. All right, Doc, we've got more from you coming up at five o'clock. We'll see you then. Now, in the meantime, more local hospitals are giving out their first shots. Our crews were invited to the VA Ann Arbor healthcare system to see their first doses. Hospital received about 1,000 doses on Tuesday. Frontline workers say they are happy to be a part of the process. A little nervous, I won't lie, but as I've talked to other co-workers and other people in the hospital, I've gotten more comfortable with it, and if today is the day that helps other people want to take it and get vaccinated so that way we can get over this pandemic and get back to regular life, then I'm all for it. 37 VA medical centers across the country will be receiving the vaccine this week. In Southfield, vaccinations also underway at Ascension Providence Hospital. Two frontline workers there receiving the first doses of the vaccine this afternoon. More workers soon to follow. Our coverage of the vaccine program will continue here at 5 o'clock.